Hello, Chris here. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the keto diet. Perhaps you've heard of it. It's been in the news. It's been around for a while, last couple of years at least. I know I've, I, I've tried it. I think I took it for a spin for uh, two or three months. A guy from work was helping me out. I did find that it was, uh, it was able to help me lose some weight. But there were two fundamental problems with the diet uh, that I knew would not allow me to continue with it um, as a long-term way to try to sustain, and maintain my weight, uh, and stay in, you know, and stay in good physical condition. So, problem number one: cookies. Oh, as it turns out, I love cookies. I think uh, I'm. Uh, I'm somehow related to the cookie monster. If I was to trace my family tree, I cannot resist cookies. There are a few types of cookies that I'm not particularly fond of, specifically mint or lemon flavored, but in a pinch, I'll eat those just the same, right? And as it turns out, my wife loves to cook. So it's not uncommon for her to cook batches of cookies, take them to work, but there are often uh, dozens left around the house for me to munch on. And I could take care of these three cookies easily within the next hour. And if I'm being honest, I could eat them right here one after the next until they were all gone and it wouldn't take me more than probably one to two minutes. Um, but as I get older, I know that I have to pace myself. So I, may, I might make three cookies last me a couple of hours or this might be what I have for my dessert after, after dinner. So that's a problem. Problem number two, donuts. Right? Donuts are clearly full of carbohydrates. They are not allowed uh, on the keto diet. And so you know, the problem for me with donuts is that uh, since my kid was five or six, we take every Saturday we'll go for a donut trip to the Donut King here in Wasilla. So that's free advertising for the Donut King. Um, and every Saturday I'll get one or two donuts if I feel like it, and, and she does the same, right? So I'm not sure that I'm willing to give up this ritual that I have with my daughter, uh, where I've learned to develop, you know, well, you know, we have, we talk, uh, we have great discussions over donuts, she gets a hot chocolate, I get a coffee, and donuts, right? So I'm not sure that I can give this up uh, as a part of my weekly ritual with my daughter. Problem number two. So while I like the idea of using the keto diet to try to you know, put my body into a state of ketosis where it is burning fat, uh, helping to maintain my weight, I'm afraid I'm going to have to look for an alternative form or method of uh, trying to maintain my weight while also enjoying cookies and donuts. Um, I suspect there may be some exercise involved with this and possibly some other methods and styles of eating that I'll explore in other videos with you. So while I like the idea of the keto diet, these two fundamental problems prevent me from using it as a long-term way to manage my weight. If you have any comments or thoughts or uh, you yourself are a cookie monster, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Otherwise, uh, take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.